Hello students. In the next three videos, we're going to show you three different ways to think about adding integers. So in the end, you don't want to have just a, a rule that you follow that you don't really understand, because what can happen is uh, once you get a rule for adding and another rule for subtracting and another rule for multiplying, if all you're doing is following rules, you tend to just forget the rules. So you, you apply the wrong rule to the wrong question. So the idea with um, doing integer operations, adding, subtracting, etc., is you have to really understand what you're doing. So I'm going to show you three different methods, then you can pick out the one that, that makes the most sense to you. Okay, the one that I like when I'm first starting is I just like to think of money. So if I've got money in my pocket, that's a positive. If I've got a bill in my pocket, that's a negative, because I've got to give people some money to pay the bill. And let's have a look then at how this works. So I have $8 in my left pocket and $4 in my right pocket. How much do I have all together? Well, if you put the, the, the two amounts together, you're going to have 8 plus 4 in total. I'm going to have a total of $12. So that's adding a positive and a positive. You just add the numbers together. Now I've got $9 in my left pocket and I've got a bill for $3 in my right pocket. How much do I have now? Well, if I've got $9, I can pay off the bill and that means I've got $6 left. So this is like saying nine plus negative three um, adds to six. So a positive plus a negative is the same thing as just going 9 minus 3, or 6. Okay, try the next two on your own. So stop the video, and then come back and check your answers. Okay, I've got a bill for $14 in my left pocket, and I've got $6 in my right pocket. How much do I have all together? Well, I don't have enough money to completely pay the bill, but I can pay off, pay off part of it. So if I start at negative 14 and I pay off $6, that means I'm still going to owe $8. So I'm going to have, in fact, I'll get rid of the dollar sign. I'll just write the answer. So I have, I'll put it out there, I have negative $8. In other words, I still owe $8. And for the last one, I've got a bill for $6 in my left pocket, and I've got another bill for $7 in my right pocket. Well, all together, if I combine my two debts all together, I have a debt of $13. So all together, I have negative 13. So if I'm adding two negative numbers together, negative six plus negative seven, you just add the numbers together, um, to get the total debt. Okay, so what I'd like you to do, in fact, I'll do the first couple of these, and then I'd like you to do the remaining questions um, using the idea of thinking of um, money as being positive and debts as being negative, and then see if you can work out the answers to each of these. So, four plus seven, that's basically, I've got money, four dollars in my left pocket, seven dollars in my right pocket, Altogether, I have $11. By the way, you should be, of course, doing these on your own first. So you should have stopped the video, had a go, and now just checking. You don't learn mathematics by watching someone else do it. You learn mathematics by doing it yourself. Okay, the next question. I've got a bill for $3.00. And I've got um, $8 in my other pocket. So altogether, once I pay off the bill, I still have $5 remaining. In this question, my bill is $7. I've got $5. I can't pay off the entire bill, but I can pay off most of it. But I'm still going to owe $2. Here I have two bills, one for $2, one for $1. So altogether, I owe $3. In the next question, I've got $7 in a bill for $6. So after I pay off my bill, I still have 
in this question here, I owe $9. I can pay off $2 of that debt, and that leaves me with a bill for $7, or negative 7. Two bills are $5. If I combine the two bills, that becomes a bill of $10, or negative 10. Here I can pay $3 of this debt off, which means I'm still $9 in debt. Here I have two bills for $3 and $7. So all together I owe $10. And then a couple of challenging ones. So let's see if we can do these in our head. So I've got $15 in one pocket and a bill for $28 in the other pocket. So what I could think of is if I pay off $15, that means I really have to say, what's the difference between 28 and 15? Well, 15 plus 10 is 25, plus another 3 is 28, so I still owe 10 plus 3, I still owe $13. In this case, I'm adding the two bills together. So I'm going to have just my total debts just going to be the sum of the two debts. So 40 plus 60 is 100, 7 plus 6 is 13, so all together I owe $113. And the last one, I've got more money than debt, so I can pay off um, the $39 debt. So the easiest way to do this one is to say 57 take 39. Now 57 take 40 is 17, but I've taken off one too much, so therefore it's going to be 18. So there's the way to, one way to think about adding integers is to think of positive numbers as money, negative numbers as debts. Okay, in the next video, we'll show you another way to um, add integers, and you might decide you prefer that one.